Tonight, it's a needle in the sky, a needle galaxy, NGC 4565, the needle galaxy. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Now tonight, I have the telescope pointing up toward Coma Berenice. That's the tail of Leo the lion. Well, it was the tail of Leo the lion. Now it's Bernice's hair. But anyway, it's just to the east of uh, the constellation Leo, where in that area there are numerous amounts of galaxies to be spotted. Here we are in the middle of April. It is galaxy season right now. And the galaxy I'm looking at tonight is NGC 45. 65, which is also known as the Needle Galaxy. Why is it called the Needle Galaxy? Well, it looks like a needle. We're seeing this galaxy almost edge on, and it's about, well, what, somewhere between 30 to 50 million light years away. And it contains a lot of stars. You know, our Milky Way has somewhere around 200 to 250 billion stars. That's a lot. This galaxy supports about one trillion stars. Yeah, a trillion stars. And how many stars out in that galaxy do you think could support life? Who knows? Anyway, I got the telescope pointing in that direction this evening, and I'm gonna be taking uh, several uh, images in the different filters. I'm using the monochrome camera, the ZWO ASI 1600 or 1600 mm. And I'm gonna shoot the uh, a galaxy in the luminance, and then I go to shoot red, green, and blue. Now, the bugs are out as well. And the the uh, system for tonight, uh, I'm going to be tracking it throughout the evening hours, and it looks like the, I'm going to have a meridian flip in about three hours from now. So somewhere in the green or the blue filter range uh, is when the uh, scope will flip to the other side of the sky. Uh, but still continue to track the galaxy. I have just about all night. The sky is crystal clear tonight. Stars are almost shining like diamonds in our uh, sky over here. So let's see what happens. Now earlier I set up the computer in the sequence in Nina to capture it. Let's take a look at that. So the first thing I need to do is open up Nina to set up the sequence for the needle galaxy which is what NGC 4565. So let's do that. So let's open up Nina. Now I'm connected to the telescope outside uh, by way of remote connection through Windows 10. All right, I want a, the AVX with the Orion Eon and the ZWO camera. Load profile, okay. This is the camera and I need to change the filters from uh, narrow band to broadband, meaning I need the uh, luminance, uh, a red, a green, and a blue filter. And let me show you how I do that. So the first thing I need to do is, of course, remove the screws that are holding the front plate of the filter wheel uh, to the filters so I can get to the filters themselves. All right, let's take a look inside. There are my filters. Those are the narrow band filters, the uh, uh, hydrogen alpha, the sulfur, and the oxygen three. Uh, and, a, and a luminous filter. They take these out and then put in the regular RGB filters. All right, let's put the broadband filters in. This is the, uh, I believe the red. And finally the blue filter. And there you have it. Let's uh, clean off the uh, filters with a little air blower here. Make sure there's no dust on it. Before, before I put the cover back on. Let's see if we can see any color. That's the green. That's the green. Okay. Yeah, you get the idea. All right, now that the plate's back on, let's put the camera, attach the camera to the filter wheel. This is the ASI 1600mm uh, monochrome camera. And let's uh, just make sure that sensor is dust free blow off the dust, always pointing the sensor downward so the dust will flow offward. And connect it to the flat side of the filter wheel, like so. Find the notch. Careful not to drop the camera. And then put the uh, the opposite side in, the uh, device that holds the filter wheel to the telescope itself with the proper spacing for the camera length 
to the focal point of the telescope. And there you have it, ready to go. Now that that's done, we'll connect the camera to the telescope a little bit later, but right now it's broad afternoon and uh, I'll be waiting for sunset. But let's set up the sequence first. And uh, the first thing I want to do is go into the uh, Sky Atlas and let's go with um, NGC 4565. Okay. There it is. Set for framing assistant and it's loading in. Let's go to a full frame there. All right, this is what my sensor is going to see. The, uh, there's the needle galaxy there and a couple other small galaxies floating around as well. But uh, let's set the uh, sequence. Now, my focal length on the Eon uh, 130 millimeter uh, uh, scope is at uh, 910 millimeters. So there it is right there. And what I want to do is um, add the target to the sequence. Simple sequence. I'm in Nina 1.1 beta. Uh, beta version nightly build at uh, number 53. Um, this is becoming a really fantastic program. So, setting it up, start guiding, turn that on, turn the uh, slew to target, center to target. Uh, let's do um, uh, three minute exposures. I'm going to go 180 seconds. And let's do 20 of those. That's an hour. And an uh, hour. And this is going to be the luminance filter. And I'm going to keep the binning here at one by one. Now, if I was using the uh, Celestron 11 inch, uh, I would have to go with binning two by two. But I'm using uh, this one, so it's one by one. Dither every five frames in this case. All right. And uh, the camera is not connected, so we'll, we'll get that later. But it, it'll default to the default gains, and that's what I want. Uh, 139 for this uh, particular camera. Uh, autofocus, set that up on start and on filter change. Okay. Now, we got uh, the, the first frame, the luminance frame, all set and ready to go. So the next thing I want to do is um, add another um, sequence and copy this sequence and add it and just change the filter here from a luminance to red. All right. Now we're ready to go, so the only thing I have to do now is just save the sequence and wait for sunset, which is going to be about another six hours from now. And there it is. Now I'm ready to go. So let's uh, wait for sunset and go outside. Well, I'm still looking at the uh, needle galaxy right now, and hopefully the pictures will come out fine. I'm going to put it up at the end of this video, and tell me what you think. Was I successful or not? Is this a good target to shoot for? What are some other targets? Well, there's so many galaxies out right now in the month of April and May. And not too much longer from now, believe it or not, Venus will be appearing in the western evening sky. So get ready for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone.